Hi everyone. Right, today we're going to look at making a little thank you gift. And we've got a little coffee cup and these fit a Ferrero Rocher or a Lindor. Okay, so there is your little little coffee cup. They're gorgeous on Christmas um, tables or little bazaar items to sell for a few pennies. Okay, obviously you need to make the cost of your chocolate back, but let's have a look how easy they are to make. So, one A4 sheet will make six mugs, right? And we're going to cut it into two to make A5. Here is my um, A4. I'm going to mark it down the middle. next bit on the short side so on this bit here we're going to go two four six eight ten twelve thirteen and a half That's all centimeters so we're going to go two four Eight, ten, twelve, thirteen and a half. There. Now this piece at the end we're going to cut off. So we're going to cut off the last thirteen and a half line. And that will make that we're going to keep for the handle. So now we're going to turn it to 90 degrees that way, and we're going to score one and a half, five, and seven. So we're going one and a half. Five, seven, and we're going to cut that off. We're going to do the same one and a half, five, seven, and cut that off there. Now we're going to go one and a half, five, and we're left with the seven at the end. Now that is going to be three mugs. All right, so we're preparing three mugs out of this one. And put that to one side for now. And we're going to look at this. This is my 13 and a half piece here. And what I want to do is to put double sided tape across the, let's see, there's, there's the small one. I want to put double sided tape across there. Okay, so that is my one and a half centimeters in there. Right, now this piece here, this small piece, is the joining piece. So what I'm going to do is to snip the bottom bit off and snip this top bit. Okay. This 
is going to go round and join on there. Okay, so first of all, on the bottom bit, I just want to snip carefully a tiny triangle. And just finish that. Okay. Okay. So we've now got the bottom of the mug, which is going to go together. This is the top bit. So what I want to do now is on the outside. double-sided tape on there. Okay. Then I'm going to take that off and we've got two things to do together. So we want to start that going down and I can press that there but leave this up because what I want to do is tuck this bit into there. Sorry, I don't know whether that went out of camera shot. I've started to press that bit. This bit is open because I want to tuck that into there, slide it in and press and then I can press this bit down here. So there we go. There we go. Now look at the bottom. Right, you've got six pieces. So we want to take a bit of tape here. And I'm going to put opposite bits together, line them up, and just fix them together. So put my finger inside okay. now I'm going to put a bit of tape here I go to the opposite one fold that in and make sure you line up line up the two bits taking the last bit onto there. You can do it with wet glue as well if you like. So press that, line them up and by lining up these opposite bits you get the nice hexagon. Okay. Right, I've cut two bits, two circles. Um, one I need to cut a little bit uh, smaller. You can draw around your hexagon if you want to. I've just found that circles are, are quite good. Okay, tuck your bits in there. And this smaller circle is going to go down in the middle. So that is keeping all the inside down. Turn it over and this is slightly bigger. So what I'm going to do couple of bits on there. Now if you wanted to do a bigger circle you could make it like a saucer and stand your cup on a saucer. But what I'm doing with this is placing that on. There's my circle and then I'm just looking at the top 
and trimming off anything that sticks out. So you can draw around and do a hexagon if you wish. Right, so I'm going to make sure that's pressed together. Now, there is our little mug. So, if you remember, we cut off this bit here. And this bit is the handle. And we want to cut three seven centimetre strips. So I'm just going to do that by hand. It doesn't have to be too accurate. So one, two. So these two bits are our other mugs because we're going to make. Right, don't forget we're making three mugs from one half. Right, now we want to take the scoreboard and we want to score one centimetre so we want to score one centimetre each end. One. So we want to fold one up and one down. And I'm going to take my strong tape and I'm going to put a piece on that end. Okay. So that's on the back and I'm now going to put a piece on the front. round your handle a little and I take this piece on the front and that is the top of my handle let me find where the seam is there it is so I place that on there and then take off this bit which is on the back bend it over and press it on there. Okay. Sticking to my finger. So then you can just adjust it there. There's our chocolate. And that tucks into there. Okay, so there's a nice little gift to give to anybody. move those out the way and look at a few ideas. Okay, don't forget you this will make you six mugs from one A4 sheet. <coughs> this was um, double sided um, hunky dory paper card and you can see now we can see the dark inside. You can shape the handle if you wish, right, that's just cut away um, to make it a little bit thinner. There's the original. Okay. This one was done out of fancy paper, so it's more like a, a tea set. Okay. Nevertheless, it will still, still hold the chocolate. This one, I haven't pressed the creases too much, so it's more of a rounded um, coffee cup. Now, this one here, if you want to take it a little bit further, this one I have printed myself. So let's bring in my A4 sheet, and I've divided my sheet into seven centimeter panels so there's my one and a half okay. then that's my five centimeter line 
and there is my seven centimeter line and this comes to the one and a half again okay so you can put a border across <clears throat> one of the other ways that you can do it i'll have to just move across here a minute About that. If you have washi tape, there we go. Right, you could put washi tape across, right? Or you could make up your mugs in in white. Here's one partly done, and then you could simply wrap your washi tape around after you've done your your little mug. You could put washi tape along the panel for the um, handle, but that's a little idea. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to do several little challenges for you that may start you thinking towards Christmas and little gifts that don't cost a lot. Um, and they're a beautiful thank you gift. OK, so have fun. And if all else fails, eat the chocolate. Oh, yum, my favourite. God bless.